As families across the country tuned in for the debate, we've returned to our undecided voters to watch with them to get a sense of how your choice on the 23rd of June will be influenced or not by what you've heard. First in Leicester, there's friends Kamal, Dave and Vash. In Wickford in Essex, we're with daycare centre owner Glenda and her neighbour Neil. In Paisley in Scotland, we're talking to mum Lorna, Alan who works in finance and Holly. And in Nutsford, Cheshire, we have Charlie, his mum Kate and her dad Terry who have a family printing business. Six of the main campaigners from both sides of the EU referendum debate will go head to head. And At the start, not all the politicians made a big impression. It's quite refreshing to see females. And Boris Johnson's statistics didn't meet universal control. approval. Take back control of huge sums of money, £350 million pounds a week. And spend on our priorities, such as the Still going on about that. Oh, no, oh, no. When the topic turned to immigration, our voters sat up. This is a complex problem. There isn't a silver bullet, and I know that that's what Boris and his team would like to have, but you need to look at the numbers, although... I fear the only number that Boris is in, interested in Thank is the you. one that says number 10. <laughs> oh, I think that's really true as well, don't you? I think so, too. <laughs> Look at his face. <laughs> <laughs> He's not used to having been talked to him, has he? Like I don't think he's used to anyone talking to him like that, though. They're obsessed with this immigration subject. And, you know, I just, I think the people are just looking at that. Yeah. And it's that's going to sway it's them. It's emotional. Yeah. It's not, it's not... Factual. And then Angela Eagle turned up the heat over Boris Johnson's claim we send 350 million a week to the EU. It doesn't cost 350 million pounds to be a member of the EU, and you know that's not Are you saying that true. That's and you've emblazoned it across your bus, and you refuse to take it back. Oh, look, she's pointing your finger! Look at what she's pointing your finger! You so sorry for Boris. I feel sorry for him as well. I don't feel sorry for him. Especially those three Rottweilers on the other side. If you want a strong NHS, then you make sure that you control the money, that you take back those 350 million a week, which currently we do not have control over. The NHS is struggling because there's too many people in this country. We've got an older population and we've got more and more immigrants coming in. These massive numbers that they bandy around, I don't have a clue here who's saying the right thing. I just don't think that it make any difference to the NHS, whether we're in or out. I wouldn't trust Boris Johnson with a health service as far as I could throw Boris Johnson. Um, Boris <laughs> looks like a man that's been sturgeoned. <laughs> but there was some sympathy for Andrea Leadsom's accusation that it's all Project Fear from the Remain side. It is the scaremongering, and it's miserable scaremongering, and people in this country will see through it. She's got a point. That is a point. Hey? Eh? They're scaremongering that is, that is, that is true. We need to know what the Leave side is going to negotiate for the benefits of us for the future. So who got the thumbs up and who blew it in the verdict of our voters? Well, I was impressed with Nicola Sturgeon again. Yeah, she, she knows how to talk. But I was also impressed with Boris Johnson. He was a cool, calm, collective character. I think obviously Nicola Sturgeon, she's always a polished performer, um, but she was good tonight. Um, and I thought that Andrea Edinson was quite good as well. People who impressed me most were Andrea and Giza on the out campaign. Uh, I thought they were very calm, got their point across very well. I still hop from one foot to the other and I really wish that they would bring somebody to the forum who people could feel confident that they were getting the facts from. I haven't made my mind up at all. Um, it's confused me just that little bit more. I'm very much on the fence like, where I don't want to be and I'm waiting for somebody to guide me one way or the other. And I'm probably like millions of other voters in this country. It's a decision that's causing many discussions on the sofa, not to mention dividing friends and families. And soon it will be your choice with just 14 days to go. Romley Weeks, News at 10.